Blaze Wallace. Welcome to the Inferno. Uh, this DVD is basically all my fights professionally since 2003, including Muay Thai, mixed martial arts, ranging from Vegas to Florida. Every fight, all victories, you can skip anything. So I uh, hope you enjoy it. It's going to be action packed. If you like knockouts, if you like submissions, if you like head kicks, if you like knees, if you like elbows, this is the video for you. Check it out. First fight uh, is from January 2003. It's my first Muay Thai title fight. First fight uh, where I didn't have a trainer and I had to prepare myself, but um, I prepared well. And uh, it's an exciting fight. A lot of aggressiveness, a lot of knees, you know. Good one. Check it out.
Ladies and gentlemen, about a round of applause for both fighters, please. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the end of this bout comes at 1 minute 27 seconds of round number two. Your winner out of the red corner by TKO, Repton C. Murdo Wallace Jr. Next up is uh, my first mixed martial arts fight. It's about two and a half months later after my Muay Thai title, the first one, and uh, I was ready for it. I'd started studying the ground. You know, my jiu-jitsu was all right, but um, I've been making, made a lot of improvements since that fight, but it's exciting because it was like my start in mixed martial arts in Tampa, Florida. Check it out. <laughs> Next up, ISKA Middleweight Muay Thai Tournament. This is a tough one. Um, I had to cut about 25 pounds to make the weight limit for this fight. I started out at 199 pounds. Again, I had no trainer. I trained myself for this fight. Um, full Muay Thai rules, excluding elbows, but everything else was legal on the feet. Uh, three fights in one night to win the title. Um, it's exciting, don't blink.
Next up, Frank Shamrock Shoot Box, uh, Orlando, Florida. This was an invitational. Uh, a lot of people wanted to get in this event, and I was fortunate enough to get into it. Actually, uh, me and three of my teammates got to compete on this card. This was my third mixed martial arts fight. Uh, I was really happy to be a part of it. I had a little problem with my hands. I cracked both of my hands. They were healing up, but um, I felt good enough to do that I could beat the guy, so went ahead and took the fight. It's another good one. Um, not my favorite fight, but it is a, a big show, so I was happy about it. Check it out. Alex Keaton versus Crafton Wallace. And I've heard a lot of talk about this fight. They say Wallace is really a tough guy, and as well as Alex Keaton. Yeah, Wallace has got a you know, background in Muay Thai. And like I said before, man, it's just the name of that stuff. And doing yeah, that it is. Stuff it's all about guy. getting hit. And Alex Keaton now makes his way to the shoot box. Here's his profile, a six-footer, 205 pounds, four and three record. Calls his style shoot fighting, which is perfect for the shoot box. Keaton, 29 years old, fights for the Tigers World of Martial Arts Club. And he's an electrical engineer from USF right here in Florida. And he's been training for three years in preparation for today. Alex Keaton. And the uh, fight name is Alex Keaton, his nickname is Alex. So, uh, like the name. He's a straightforward guy. Yeah. Like his punching. <laughs> Makes his way to his corner. 